Hello, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Pia Moret. I'm director of the Office of the Interuniversity Council of Catalonia, an institution that works to inter internationally promote the 12 Catalan universities by coordination, coordinating the participation of the Catalan system in different conferences and fairs uh, worldwide sometimes in Europe, in the United States of America, or in the Asia-Pacific region. However, this is the first time we participate in Politico, and we hope that you will find the offer at our universities to be extremely interesting, helping you to choose an European degree from among the wide variety of options of our universities. We have with us 10 universities attending the fair, which are Universitat de Barcelona, Universitat Pompeu Fabra, Universitat de Girona, Universitat de Lleida, Universitat Rovira i Virgili. These ones are public universities. And Universitat Ramon Llull, Universitat de Vic Central de Catalunya, Universitat Internacional de Catalunya, Universitat Abat Oliva, and Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, the Open University, these last ones private. Most of these universities are in the Barcelona area, but uh, some of them are spread in the, in the country. Those are Universitat de Girona, Universitat de Lleida, Universitat Rovira i Virgili, but only one hour distance from the, the main city, Barcelona. In addition to the representatives of our universities, who, yeah, who I also take the opportunity to thank for being here, uh, there will be also two short sessions, time to shine sessions, available in the, in the chat rooms. The first one is, is this afternoon, just after this presentation, and it's going to be um, the presentation of the internship program at the delegation of the government of Catalonia to the European Union. And the second one will be tomorrow at 1 p.m. And it's going to introduce you the EPSO Unicat program to, that with the aim to make public the opportunities and internship options in the European uh, institutions. Now we are going to see a short video to give you a general overview about this university system. It's only going to take eight minutes, so as you can imagine, it's, you, you might have questions afterwards. After the video, there will be time for questions, which you can already leave in the chat, and we will be very glad to answer them afterwards on site. I hope that you find the presentation interesting, and I'll see you again in a few minutes. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure to give you this introduction to the University System of Catalonia at Politico's European Union Studies and Career Fair a meeting point for the best universities and organizations aimed at international students and young professionals looking for a future in, Europe, in European Union affairs. The purpose of this web webinar is to provide an overview of the Catalan university system and the advantages of studying at a Catalan university to forge a career at the heart of Europe. So I will focus my presentation on general information on the international scope of the system, the position of our universities in the international rankings, the studies structure and the specific offer in the fields of international relations, political science, economics and business, public policy, public affairs and law, as well as the specific projects of Catalonia in the field of the European Union relations. If we talk about general figures on internationalization, Catalonia has 12 universities, seven public, four private, and one online university. There are around 259,000 students in Catalonia, from which more than 34,000 are 
international. We are one of the top destinations for mobility in Europe, with more than 11,000 students arriving in Catalonia and more than 8,000 going abroad. The main countries of origin are the United States of America and the study abroad programs, Italy, Germany, France, Mexico, the Netherlands, China, the UK, Colombia and Portugal. In terms of individual universities, the Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona, Universitat de Barcelona and Universitat Pompeu Fabra have the highest international mobility. More than half of the master, master's students grow, come from outside Catalonia. Their main countries of origin are Ecuador, Colombia, China, Italy and Chile. And when it comes to Europe, the main countries of origin are Italy, Germany, France, Russia and the United Kingdom. If we talk about the position of our universities in the international rankings, the position of Catalan universities is also striking, placing them among the best in Spain. Our universities and research centers are world leaders according to the international rankings. So, three universities in the world's top 300 and also in Europe's top 150 according to the Times Higher Education and those are Universitat de Barcelona, Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona and Universitat Pompeu Fabra. Two universities are in the top 15 world universities under 50 years old according to the QS ranking and those are Universitat Pompeu Fabra and Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya. Two universities are in the top 100 world universities for compliance with the Sustainable Development Goals. Those are Universitat Pompeu Fabra and Universitat de Barcelona. And finally, three Catalan universities among the world's top 150 universities for employability according to the QS Graduate Employability Ranking and those are Universitat de Barcelona, Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya and Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona. Our universities also stand out in subjects that you might find of interest today in the fields of law, politics and economy. If we look into the structure and the offer of the studies, Bachelor's degree studies in Catalonia are generally structured into, into a four-year scheme and the master's degree into one-year scheme. But there are also three-year bachelor's degrees and two years master's degrees. In total, the offer uh, is 525 bachelor programs and six, 650 master's degrees. From those master degrees, 110 are totally taught in English. If we look into the specific uh, offer in the fields of business, economic, international relations, political science, public policy, public affairs and law, we have more than 230 bachelor degrees and 240 master degrees. Tuition fees in Catalonia are also a very significant reason for choosing a Catalan university with very competitive prices and they offer high quality at affordable prices. The average fee is 1,000 euros per academic year for a bachelor degree and 2,500 euros for a master degree. Finally, if we talk about a specific projects in the field of the European Union relations, student, students in Catalonia interested in a career in Europe can take part in the internship program offered by the delegation of the government of Catalonia to the European Union and can also participate in the UNICAT Ambassadors Network. After this presentation, at, three, at quarter past three, you can join the Time to Shine session about this internship program. 
The EPSO UNICAD project was created in 2017 to strengthen the European Union Career Student Ambassador, selected by the European Personnel Selection Office, EPSO. The aim of the project is to increase awareness of the European Union Career Student Ambassador in Catalan universities and extensively publicize existing job and internship opportunities in European institutions. We now in Catalonia have 10 UNICAD ambassadors doing this work. These students, chosen by each of the Catalan universities, also get the chance to learn about the European Union at first hand when their training sessions are held in Brussels. They visit European institutions and talk to civil servants straight in Catalonia and now working there. You will have a chance to learn more about this project, if you like, in the Time to Shine session given tomorrow at 1 p.m. by Guillem Martinez, a student at Pompeu Fabra University, EPSO ambassador and also Politico ambassador. At the study in Catalonia booth, you will find experts from each of the universities and from the Office of the Inter-University Council that will help you with a lot of pleasure. Many thanks for your attention. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I'm David. I'm here supporting Pia and Jordi. I see that on the chat we have a few questions. The first one is, hello, I was wondering how your university is unique from other institutions. I think <laughs> Pia wants to answer this. Okay. Well, that's not an easy question to answer because also we represent a system. So uh, our aim here is to promote these 12 universities. Uh, but one of the characteristics, and I think that it can be some uh, added value to it, is that we are this system and that uh, all the universities uh, work together in not only uh, the, uh, the promotion or institutional level, also in a lot of programs that uh, they are shared by, by more than one institution. Of course, in addition to that, uh, the the quality of, of life of Catalonia is also one of the, the things that uh, students find more attractive, not, not only because uh, we are a sunny country, uh, but because we have a, a beautiful uh, cultural heritage. We, th we really think that's, uh, that that's also uh, added value to our university offer. And of course, the, the quality of the programs and of the institutions that, as you can, I suppose you have seen uh, during the presentation, uh, we have uh, our, some of our universities in, in very good position in international rankings and specifically, and, and that I think is, is next question, uh, that connects with uh, uh, in which areas we, we are extremely good and we are extremely good in some of the areas that I think you are interested in, such as law, political science, communication, and business. I think you had the, well, you had the detail of that information in in the presentation. But if you you want uh, more specific information, you can just write me, and I'll will provide you with with that. Thank you so much. I don't know if there is any other one. Yes, Pia, thank you for your uh, answers. We have another question from Mariana that says, hello, I was wondering if there's any master program scholarship for non-European citizens. Well, uh, the, well, what we, I don't know now exactly, each university can have uh, scholarships uh, by their own, of course. Uh, general scheme as a government, we have uh, the or a specific agency called AGAUR. And what we will do, uh, Mariana, is to let you, well, we will write all the information in the chat so you can can inform well get that information uh, straight aw straight away from from the scholarship agency thank you 
Okay, and as I can see, we have one more question from Chiara. It says, hello, are there any PhD program related to the development economics? Okay, here uh, I would suggest you to visit our webpage. Uh, we have a searcher where you can find all the studies that we offer. And we have a searcher as well for the masters that we offer. Even uh, the public universities and the private universities. So I would suggest you visiting this link and I will put it on the chat. And yeah, we have a PhD on uh, the, the, the most similar I've seen was in uh, uh, business administration and innovation management. Okay. And here you have the link. I hope it's helpful. You can search all you want in here. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Jordi. We have more questions coming up. We have one from Alexia. Is there a possibility for a European student, uh, student to take a scholarship for uh, studying free at master's degree at any uh, Catalan university? Well, um, it's, it's related, well, it's quite similar to the question we had before uh, about grants and scholarships. Uh, you should address uh, to the Catalan agency for um, scholarships and, well, and, and, and get that information from, from there. Uh, at the PhD level, I would say uh, there are some calls, but uh, I'm, I'm not so certain uh, uh, about the details. So I, I would just uh, address you to the Catalan Agency for Scholarships. Again, thank you. Okay, thank you, Pia. Uh, I don't see any more questions on the chat for the moment. If anyone has more questions, now it's the time. We are going to be very happy to answer to them. And we also remind you that you can visit us in our stands and our representatives from each university will be very happy to assist you as well. So we wait more questions maybe. Oh, by the way, by the first about the first question you ask about the human rights, um, my colleague Jordi already um, put a link on the chat as well. Okay, we have any another... any other? Yes, I can see another new question. It says also all of your program offering are all of your programs offered in English, or is the ability mm -hmm. to speak another language required? Yeah, uh, at, the, at the master level, uh, from the general offer that uh, I think it's about 650 master programs, uh, I think that was also, you could see that in our presentation, uh, 110 are totally taught in English. Uh, at the mm, bachelor degree level, it's, it's different. It's, it's, the number of uh, degrees uh, to total in English is less. It would be at about 30 or something like that. But the true thing is that uh, many programs at both levels have um, the possibility to have different languages. So you can have uh, altogether Catalan, uh, Spanish, and also English in the same, in the same program. I think that would be the answer. Any, any other questions? Thank you very much, Pia. We are waiting for more questions if you have. Okay, then that's it. Thank you very much to all of you for joining our presentation and well, you are very welcome now if you want to get more specific information about all these offers to, to talk to, to our universities straight away. And I'm sure you will find answer to, you, to your, all, of, all of your questions. Thank you very much and see you soon. <laughs>